Hey everyone, this is Jason. I'm the field program associate here at Young Americans for Liberty um, today. Uh, welcome to the Yale Chapters 101. We're going to kind of run through a lot of different things, and uh, this right here will kind of give you an idea if I can get my page to switch over. This is weird. Give me just one second, everyone. Cool. So now we're rolling. So today's objectives. What is YAL? And uh, achieving active status and some things underneath that, which is the chapter mailing address, the chapter plans, and recruiting two more members. And uh, so an overview of YAL. In seven years, YAL has become the most active and fastest growing pro-liberty youth organization in the country. It's pretty awesome. Our mission is to identify, educate, train, and mobilize youth activists committed to winning on principle. And, you know, our goal is to cast the leaders of tomorrow and reclaim the policies, candidates, and direction of our government. And with a network of 700 plus chapters and 200,000 plus activists, um, we can do it. So forming a YAL chapter comes the fun part. So the first step is to go to yaliberty.org slash join. That'll pull you to this page. You'll fill out this info here, or you can also sign up with your Facebook. So once you go to the chapters page, you will, you know, you'll, you'll see this first thing. It says start a chapter. So you'll click this button here, and then you will type in the name of your school or high school. So in the chapter application, you'll say, yes, I agree to be the founding member of this chapter. It should be a good feeling. You're bringing something new to your campus, and uh, you can really make a difference here. So click that button, and that'll bring you up here. This will kind of give you an overshowing of what you're going to be doing throughout the chapter application. Uh, so application start, and here is the chapter mail mailing address, chapter plans, members, uploading school recognition, which we'll talk about a little bit later, and then submitting the application. So chapter mailing address. This is very key because this is exactly how we get things sent to you uh, for your activism. So it's really key that you make sure that this is uh, a campus um, or somewhere near campus uh, that you can pick up this kit and uh, you know easily you know take it to campus and host your event for the day. So chapter application, here we are. The chapter plans. These are extremely valuable because this kind of gives you an idea, an idea of what you uh, have planned for your chapter. You know what your goals are, things like that. So, recruiting two other dues-paying members at well, uh, liberty.org slash join. So, you know, you joined in. This is the exact same way that you did it. Now you've got your chapter started. You know, your chapter application is going. Um, you know, the next goal is to get to active status. And when we say active status, that means you have two more people join with you to make three people in the chapter. And that means an active chapter. So, you know, you get two more people locked in. You know, they're excited. They're ready to go. You take them to yaliberty.org slash join. You get them to fill out the same info that you did. So... Right after they fill out that same info, you make sure they go to the chapters tab and they actually join your chapter because a lot of times people will do that, but they'll join as a dues paying member, but they won't actually join the chapter and that prevents the chapter from getting to active status. So go ahead and double check on that one when they join. Also, the benefits of being a dues paying member. Well, this is not what it's limited to, but you know, you free Yao t-shirt. Everyone loves a t-shirt. State and national conventions, uh, job and internship opportunities. The network is a humongous. And then, you know, YAL uh, leadership team eligible. And then, of course, like I said, the national network. Recruitment pro tips. If you don't ask, they won't sign up, period. You have to hit them, hit them with a direct ask. Um, you know, make it clear. Um, and just be upfront with them. Make, you know, if you ask, they will respond. So show them your passion to spread liberty. Don't be monotone. Don't be dead. Be excited about what you do because that's why we're here. We love what we do. And uh, you want to make a difference, so be excited. Explain the benefits of being a dues-paying member. So we go back to this page here, the benefits of being a dues-paying member. Use these right here. Tell them exactly what I just told you about being a dues-paying member and the benefits of it. It's a great, uh, this right here is a great tool for that. And sit down with them one-on-one. -on -one. Take them to coffee, take them to dinner, go to the cafe with them, whatever. Take them, but personal contact is how you're going to get these people to join and how you're going to change their minds. Um, or, you know, if they are completely unaware of what it, Liberty or Young Americans for Liberty is at all, this is how you can, uh, you know, get them familiar with it and get them to join. Also, make sure they click join on your chapter. As I alluded to before, this is key because a lot of times people will get lost in the website and they want to actually join the chapter, um, which, you know, negatively affects the chapter and the person. So always double check on that one. So review active requirements. So you want to go through, make sure you got a good chapter mailing address. That's the correct one. Your chapter plans are done and you've got two or more uh, recruited members. Then boom, you're done. So become an, a, 
become an official member it takes about three minutes. Uh, entering your mailing address takes about three minutes. Also, completing the chapter plans is a little bit more lengthy. It can take up to 20 minutes, but if you power through, uh, it's not bad. You only have to do it once, and it's extremely valuable, so we encourage that you do finish those. Um, also, recruiting two dues-paying members uh, should take about 24 hours. Most chapters do that then. Uh, and you can do it. The top priority is liberty, and always have fun doing it. So if you have any questions, I know it was brief, uh, but I really hope I was able to clear up, you know, your questions. But if you have any uh, other questions that are still remaining that I was able to unanswer um, or any that, you know, any at all, feel free to shoot me an email, give me a phone call, shoot me a text, whatever. Um, you know, just let me know that you had, uh, you know, viewed this here and uh, I can help you out in any way possible. So uh, good luck, everyone.